Vince talked to me a little bit on my official visit, and he said some things that stood out to me. And it was like kind of a small factor in my decision. Can you tell us what he said? Um, he was just telling me, like, because I came to one of the games, um, and the game I was at, my father had passed away. So he was just saying, like, he was in Kentucky when that happened. So, you know, it could be like a good thing, you know what I'm saying? It could be like a good thing, like you was here when it happened. So, like, take that into consideration. Does it concern you now that schools like Michigan State are throwing boatloads of money at him, trying to get him away from here? Um, not really. I feel like it's a decision for him, you know. It's a decision for his family. And, I mean, if he make the decision to, to go, you know what I'm saying, it's all on him. There's a lot of guys on this team who are here because of him, wouldn't you say? I mean, talk about just his influence on so many guys on this roster. Um, I mean, I'm not really, I'm not really sure about his influence on other guys, but I know he does make a big impact on certain players, and I know he's a good guy. So I feel like if he make the decision to go, everybody you know gonna understand. What are your expectations for this first six months? Um, just keep going, give maximum effort, and stay focused. What's it been like, uh, you know, getting in early? I'm sure you may have been asked already, but uh, what do you hope to accomplish here in these few weeks leading up to spring and getting a head start? Um, I just want to soak up all the knowledge from the older guys. Um, learn the playbook, just learn everything, you know, and just stay focused on it. John mentioned Drake and Landon being really helpful as far as just mentors reaching out to watch film. How have they kind of reached out to you? Um, Drake Jackson, uh, we watch film, you know, he talks to me about stuff, you know, more than football, and he's just been a big help since I got here. Those guys kind of pride themselves on being nasty up front, moving people off the ball. I mean, does that kind of fit your personality? Yeah, that's exactly my personality. You know, coming from Detroit, coming from King High School, um, that's just a tradition. Be nasty up front. So when you saw them, when you saw what they had to do with Lynn last year, you know, would throw the ball maybe five times a game. I mean. You, what was your thoughts on, on watching all that? Um, so in high school, I played with a running quarterback. You know, if the pass wasn't there, he's taking off and we blocking down the field. So I'm really used to that type of stuff. So I think it's good. I think I'm a fit will. You know. When they were putting, you know, 400, 500 yards rushing on people <laughs> late in the season, did that make an offensive lineman kind of sit back and say, yeah, this is. Yeah, this is that's good. awesome. It makes you feel great to have that type of you know, season, putting up big numbers, um, putting up great stats. You know, you get good um, attention from that up front from the offensive line. What if they uh, talk to you about, you know, which spot you might begin at? Where, where do you plan to work at first? Um, really, I'm just learning every position on the offensive line. So I feel like whatever, wherever they put me, I just want to fit, you know, like I want to be able to go wherever they need it. Were you a versatile guy in high school? I mean, I never played guard or center, but I could if I had to. I played tackle primarily, but I could if I had to play guard or center. Was there a, any kind of moment, you, you know, when you first got here, you got jumped in the weight room with some of these big guys and thought, man, I, I'm in the SEC now? Uh, yeah, my first week, first day in the weight room, Monday, uh, got in there. Got started with the workout, and it was just, you feel me? It was hard to get, you know, adapted to the speed. Everything was going fast. Everybody was going. And, you know, it's just me. I'm learning. I'm still, I'm still pushing. But right now, I'm getting used to it, and I'm, I'm ready to go now. We all assume since you're both from Michigan that you probably know Justin. Do you know Justin? Did you play against Justin? What kind of um, player is he? So. Uh, Last season, my last season in high school, we were, we could have played them in the playoffs, but they ended up losing. So we didn't get a chance to play. You know, we was looking forward to that game too. You know, it was good talk about it. 
but unfortunately they lost. So what makes him never, so good? Um, he's just explosive. He's very explosive. I watch this film every time he drop his highlights. You know, I look at it. So he's explosive off the ball. You know, he just make. He's a playmaker. You know, he make big plays. We got to I was just gonna say, anybody like in the NFL that we would compare him to, or you would compare him to? Uh, it's kind of hard because lately he's been playing defensive line, so I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I'd probably say uh, uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Well, with guys like Madarius, Bud Dupree, Josh Allen, could you see Justin Rogers having that sort of success here at the time? Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like if you get here and you work, you know, they gonna push you to get where you need to go. Is that testament to this coaching staff about how they recruit and develop players here? Excuse me. Is that testament in your eyes of how they recruit and develop here at Kentucky? Um, yeah, I feel like. Yeah. We got a kick out of uh, interviewing Sam out of my yesterday, and he had his uh, wool cap on and his heavy coat while he talked to us. You, you got the short sleeves and shorts on, so coming from Michigan, this this weather around here hasn't seemed to phase you too much. Uh, no, not really, not at all. No, I'm used to it. I'm used to the cold, so 30 degrees, 20 degrees, I'm straight. I'm good. <laughs> How did, how did two guys from Michigan in the heart of Big Ten country get out of the backyard and, and find their way to Lexington? Um, if they anything like me, when you see Kentucky, you see, like, you get to meet some people here, they just get that gut feeling. Like, this ain't nothing like Michigan. This ain't nothing like Detroit. So, like, you just get that good feeling. Like, I feel like I'm at home here. So... I feel like that's how they feel. They feel they feel great. They had a great feeling when they was here. What gives it that good feeling? What makes Kentucky so special compared to those other schools? Um, it's like I really can't explain it. It's just like you feel good when you're here. Like I just got the gut feeling. Like I like I like everything. You know, from the coaches to the players, how hard they was working, and just success lately. I don't know. Everything just play a big part in it. So you just feel good when you get here. Like you want to be a part of it. Was there a moment when you realized that? I mean, on a certain visit or, or a conversation uh, with somebody? Uh, me and my team took a visit. We came on an um, unofficial visit. And we was just watching the guys work out in the indoor facility. And I was just like, dang, you know what I'm saying? This look, this look good. This, it feel good in here. You know, I just love the environment. And then I got to talking to some of the offensive linemen. I didn't at that time. I didn't really even know I was I would be feel me coming here. But you know, what I'm saying I was just talking to the guys, and I was like, yeah, this might be somewhere I would consider going. Lexington's not too slow for you. No, it's it's it's, it's perfect for me. It's perfect. <laughs>